also, I wanted to bring up this recent controversy with Amy Schumer because she recently appeared on Jimmy Fallon's show. She's promoting this show that she has on Hulu with Michael Sarah, but she appeared very different to how we remember her. Her face is noticeably swollen and it doesn't look like she just gained weight. It looks like someone got like stung by a bee. It looks like she stepped on a, a bee. bee. Um, <laughs> let's look at this clip of her, uh, cause I really don't think that this is normal for just gaining weight. She's been overweight for a long time and never looked like this. This one? It, yeah, this looks like some kind of medical issue. Competing with who's been filling up our feeds, Beyonce and Taylor Swift. Like yeah. this is who, this is who I'm competing with. You know, I love It's hard to them, see at the angle. Know? But it's like, did you see them in concert? I went. Yeah. It is life changing. It's Life changed. The audience is, I left the there taller, <laughs> stronger, yeah. not skinnier. Wetter, though. Okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> and the most I can hope that I can do to an audience is them go, huh. <laughs> you know, it's like I just, I can't compete with You see this. what I'm like saying, I, I, right? Yes. And yep. in this, this picture of her, like, I don't know. This this doesn't look normal. This doesn't look like the result of someone just gaining weight because her face never looked like this before. Um, and then she decided to respond to the rumors of what's going on with her because people were genuinely concerned. She said on Instagram, Thank you so much for everyone's input about my face. I've enjoyed feedback and deliberation about my appearance as all women do for almost 20 years. And you're right, it is puffier than normal right now. I have endometriosis, an autoimmune disease that every woman should read about. I will add, endometriosis is not an autoimmune disease. So that's just fact checking you right there. There are some medical and hormonal things going on in my world right now, but I'm okay. Historically, women's bodies have barely been studied medically compared to men. The book All in Her Head does a good job of explaining this. I also believe a woman doesn't need any excuse for her personal for her physical appearance and owes no explanation, but I wanted to take the opportunity to advocate for, for self-love and acceptance of the skin you're in. Like every other woman slash person, some days I feel confident and good as hell and others, I want to put a bag over my head, but I feel strong and beautiful and so proud of this show I created, wrote, starred in and directed. Maybe just maybe we can focus on that for a little. Uh, I had backup dancers on Jimmy Fallon, but my face is the headline. Anyway, I hope you enjoy life and Beth. Love and solidarity, Amy. You don't get to be a public figure and opt out of public scrutiny. That's not the way the world works. Um, you also don't get to just say that something is an autoimmune disease when it's not. And everyone in the comments was saying that. Yeah. Someone said, medical fact, endometriosis is not classed as an autoimmune disease. I have Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune disease. Uh, this is an inflammatory disease instead. You're spreading misinformation. Uh, another one said, you ridiculed and bullied Nicole Kidman and you're mad when it happens to you. Uh, you did the exact same thing to Nicole Kidman, judging her appearance, so there is that. And I looked into that and I think it's kind of BS. She just posted a picture of Nicole Kidman where she was sitting kind of weird at a, okay. at a sports game and she said like, she, she was she looked like an alien pretending to be human um but she wasn't exactly cyberbullying the woman most of them are mad because amy schumer is a zionist though <laughs> that's the world we live in now where you you pick your rung of who's going yeah. to yell at you yeah and then someone said i'm not a fan of amy schumer here we have right-leaning people heckling a woman's face yet again then wondering why women are obsessed with looks autoimmune issues are extremely common this is where quote unquote republicans are spending their time puke is there any proof of that I don't think that it was just Republicans who were pointing out that she looked different. That's a little bit I would ridiculous. imagine that the Republicans would be busy spending their time on other issues of the culture war. <laughs> this doesn't really seem like a place where they would end up going. Yeah, I don't know. This is weird. Um, but yeah, I just uh, hope that Amy Schumer is okay and 
not on her phone right now. It is it is really <laughs> ridiculous to expect people to not make some type of judgment. You know, yeah. I, I, I'm very sick of this idea that you get to have all the cake <laughs> and eat it too. Like you don't get to do both. You don't get to be a star. You don't get to go on the Tonight Show and do all of these things that just boost your ego and expect none of the pushback. That's not healthy either. It's not good for you. And the kumbaya idea that we're all going to get along all the time. And I'm somebody who is a lot less willing to argue. Like, I'm not going to argue with people about a lot of stuff. Like, I do not sit on the internet and argue with people. But the idea that you get to have your public-facing image put out there for everyone to see and not expect people to discuss it in the comments is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It's not attached to reality in any way, shape, or form. And like, we're all just supposed to pretend yes. that nothing's different well, to I, make well, you feel thing, good. Here's the thing. I don't even notice <laughs> it. Like, if she, if nobody, if she never mentioned it, I would have never noticed it. And, uh, like, that's, that's just stupid. And it's I don't know. Immature. This got millions and millions of views on, on Twitter. I think that, you know, a lot of people did notice the difference. And there's nothing wrong with that because... I, like you're you're doing an image focused job. That's Did you see uh, the, Halle the, Bailey? It's show business. Halle Bailey like, was at the PCAs and she's just skinny again. Yeah, well, she's only like what two months postpartum. Very yeah. impressive. I hope it's not Ozempic. Oh, it's oh oh. Oh, I hope it's not it's Ozempic. Ozempic. She she cannot be breastfeeding that baby on Ozempic. The baby is gonna get skinny. There's a twenty dollar one there from Big Dave. Uh, I had gastric sleeve surgery in. 2020 highest weight of 380 plus documented at 367.2 before that my surgery saved my life and possibly my family by example now 64 230 at 54 years old and much more active uh, yeah i'm not trying to slam gastric bypass surgery as like this never works for people this is never a solution for people but for a lot of examples they get the surgery and then don't change their lifestyle after the fact yeah if you get the surgery and then you don't change any of your habits then you might as well have not bothered right and that's what happened for kelly osborne because clearly she gained the weight back and then felt like she needed to take ozempic somebody in the comments about uh hallie bailey says baby's gonna come up with a thigh gap <laughs> No! <laughs> Someone save that baby. He's, the baby's also living with Austin McBroom, which is weird. I just, uh, I, I look at this and, and, and people like Amy Schumer, but also like a Melissa McCarthy, their size has played a role in their appeal for a lot of people. What is the appeal of Amy Schumer? I mean, Schumer? some people just like that type of humor. And, it, and it, it, you know, there have been men who have that same, you know, bigger men who play into that as well. But is that really the same thing for women? I don't know. I don't know. Like, Rebel Wilson played Fat Amy. Yeah. I get that. That's like part of her character. And then, well, but... thinking, you can't win. She lost the weight and then they got pissed at her for that. The same thing with Adele. That's valid. Like, there is a sense for a lot of these people that you can't win. You're going to get criticized no matter what. Because if you're fat and then you lose weight, you're not representing fat positivity anymore. I did see a funny tweet that said, um, said, the, uh, it said, this, uh, this, this life Adele li lives where she works six months and then disappears for seven years is the is the type of work life balance I'm trying to find. It does feel that way. She she yeah. does stuff for a couple of months and then she's just gone for like half a decade. It's a nice nice way to do it. Must be nice. Yeah. Uh, well, when you're when you're actually talented. Yeah. Yeah, you can do all your work at once. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.